So recently, I was working on a report migration project for a stakeholder, and the entire project was to migrate a suit of reports which stakeholder was used to, and create an exact replica of that report in Power BI. Now, while going through all these reports, I found one report which was something similar to this report here. What they had was they had a grid, and within that, in the rows, they had few products, and in the column section, they had all the months listed for an entire year, and then they had sales value for all these months. Now, the problem here was they want each month to be colored in a different color. Now, in Excel, it's very simple actually. You can just manually go ahead and color these columns individually, and the formatting will stay there, right? Even if you apply any filters, like for example, I just selected, let's say, laptop here and the color formatting still remains the same, right? But how do we do this in Power BI? Now by default, there is no option for this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how exactly I was able to achieve this in Power BI with minimum effort. So let's go. So here I have opened up my Power BI window. I'm going to import that data set into a blank report. So I'm going to click on blank report. And since that was in an Excel file, I'm going to click on import from Excel. And by the way, the link will be in the description for the data set that I'm using. In case you want, you can just download and follow along. I'm going to select this data and I'm going to load this data here. Now within this, we have a couple of columns product we have four products in total then we have a date column and then we have a month column which is our static text column and then sales and quantity okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to create something similar to this in power bi so first of all let's create a grid in power bi which resembles this grid in excel okay so for that i'm going to create a matrix view and within this i'm going to choose product in the row section sales in the value section and the month column in the column section. Now, if you notice the month is not sorted properly, I'm going to quickly change the sorting and correct it. So I'm going to click on month here. And when you click on it, the column tools appear here at the top, just click on sort by column. And instead of month here, I'm going to choose date. Okay. So I'm going to sort the month column based on date. Now, if you see all the months are sorted properly. Okay. Now by default, the feature that Power BI offers is that you go to this visualization pane and within this go to format your visuals. And then either you can go on these values section and color any color you want. It will color the entire section like this, which again, we don't want that. We want something else, right? Control Z. The second option is you go to specific column and choose the metric that you have chosen in this case sum of sales and then apply a background color so i'm going to choose this one and if you see it has applied blue color for all the months again this is not what we needed now in case you add something new to this quantity in this case the quantity is not colored because you applied that formatting to just sales okay so i'm going to remove this again now the last option that we have is cell elements and this is what we're going to do now this feature enables us to apply conditional formatting on Power BI. But by default, what we can do is you can select a series, in this case, sum of sales, and then click on background color. Again, it has applied a gradient, but if you click on this FX button, right, where you can apply a custom function here, you can change the formatting style to rules instead of a gradient and then apply a rule. And similar to conditional formatting in Excel, you can apply a certain number of rules onto your cells. But again, this does not give us the option to segregate columns based on month. This will simply check if the value is greater than or less than or equal to something and then apply a color to that, right? But that's not what we want. However, in this only, we have an option called field values, okay? Now, this is a very interesting feature that we have. And we're going to use this to color our individual columns. Okay. But before you apply this, you have to do a 
intermediary step by applying a custom DAX formula. Okay, so I'm going to press cancel right now. And I'm going to go to, let's say, tabular view here. Because when I create a calculated column, I usually come to tabular view to have a better view of things. What I'm going to do is inside the data table, I'm going to click and click on new column, which creates a calculated column. And in the DAX formula, let's name this as month color equal to next line. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to assign a color to each month of the year. Okay. Now we can do it with two ways. We can apply a nested if formula, but the formula will become very large and unmanageable. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply switch function. Okay. So I'm going to write switch. The first parameter here is called expression. I'm going to write true because I want wherever the value of my following parameters are true. I want that value. Okay. So that's why I'm going to write true here in the expression. And in the value, I'm going to write month, month of this data table equal to January. Then give me a color. Okay. And in this case, I'm going to write an hex code inside double quotes. And then comma. Okay. I'm going to copy this line for 11 more times. And then finally close my bracket here. Okay. Now I'm going to change these text to each month of the year. So February, March, Okay. And now I'm going to change the hex code as well for each month. So first one remains the same because I want this color for January, but for following months, I'm going to change the hex code. You can choose any hex code that you want. Okay. Now that I've created the entire formula, uh, I'm going to quickly explain it to you. Basically what I'm saying is wherever the value is true, give me the results. Okay. And the conditions are if month is equal to January, then give me this code. If month is Feb, then this code and so on and so forth for each and every month here. Okay. I'm going to press on this commit icon. Now my month color column has been created. Now let's go to the front end. Okay. Now in this chart, again, we're going to come to this FX button and within this, let's select field value. Okay. And now you will be able to see that new field that we created, which was month color. So select that and keep the summarization as first. This is fine. And press OK. Now, if you see instantly, each month has been colored in a different color. And that's how we achieve the same results that we saw in the Excel file in Power BI. So let me show you something else. Remember, we applied this conditional formatting on only the sales metric. Okay. So in the chart that we have in the grid that we have, I'm going to add this quantity metric as well. And if you see the formatting does not apply to quantity, right? But in Excel, if I add the quantity here, the formatting did get expanded, right? But in Power BI, it does not get automatically updated. So what we have to do is come back to this format your visuals. And within this again, go back to cell elements. And this time, instead of selecting sum of sales, where we have already applied that condition formatting, select sum of quantity, and then apply that same formatting here, right? Again, I'm going to choose field value and month color and press OK. Now, if you see the same formatting has been stretched over to the quantity metric that we included in this grid. So this is how you apply color coding to your grid in Power BI similar to Excel. And I thought that this is a quick tip that I could share with you so that you also use this in your projects. Now, before you go, I want to take two minutes of your time. A couple of weeks back, I relaunched my website, which is pivotalsas.com and converted that into a full fledged learning platform. Now earlier I was just posting blogs on this website, but now it contains courses and projects. 
Now, everything is available on YouTube, yes, but the main advantage of this website is that you can come to any course or project and then track your progress on every topic here, okay? So once you register, you'll be able to see what topic that you have currently covered and what all are left. With this, you'll be able to track your learning experience and also monitor how much progress that you've done within a particular topic, right? So in case you're interested, feel free to come to pivotalstats.com and register. It's free to register and free to use. Hope you enjoy the platform and let me know in the comment section if this is a good initiative. I will continue to post interesting content both on YouTube and on my website. In case you like this content, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you never miss any content that I upload. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.